Hello, my sweet Pisces people, my awesome soul brothers and sisters, as I love to call you, Pisces. I miss you guys so much. I hope you're doing wonderful. Happy weekend to you, Pisces. Pisces, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Pisces, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey, your spiritual journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time? Especially in relation to you, Pisces. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for Pisces, highest good. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Mm, this one is showing up very strongly as extra message. Oh, major changes in your life. You are welcoming many changes in your life. This is good. This is you seeing very clearly what you need to walk away from, what you need to keep in your life. This is new beginnings, rebirth, recognizing important truths about your life and relationships. Yeah, you feel so heartbroken, Pisces. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is you feeling very heartbroken in your love relationship, in your soulmate relationship. Problems with communication. This is you heartbroken. Yeah, this is you trying to find balance. Uh-huh, yeah. So you let your soulmate know in so many words how deeply disappointed you are. Yeah, you were very honest with your soulmate. You let them go. Yeah, you walked away from this relationship. You felt so out of balance in that connection. Yeah, so the person is aware. They heard you loud and clear. They are aware how disappointed you are. Yeah, this shows very clearly that this person didn't commit to you. Uh, we're in and out of your life, more out of your life than in your life. Didn't make commitment, didn't express how they feel. They didn't uh, give you any kind of hint where this is going, not going. Basically, you felt like this person put your life on hold and you had no choice but to let them go because you felt so drained, exhausted. Universe, please show us hmm, what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, this is you. Very wise, perceptive, intuitive looking at everything objectively in your life and making changes for the new year, significant changes, not just thinking about changes. Actually, you're going to be making those changes in your life. Yeah, you will. You, you see very clearly, you're standing up for yourself. You're recognizing your worth and recognizing who's draining you and who you need to let go of. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, you, you're showing up twice as queen of swords, whether you male or female, you stood up for yourself. You were very honest, direct in your communication. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Libra, showing up very strongly here, but they could be any sign, but those are the significant signs that are showing up here. This person feels a lot of regret for losing you. They deeply regret losing you from their life. Yeah, they view you as very uh, attractive, very solid person, marriage material. Yeah, they don't want to lose you. Yeah, wow, you did all you could possibly do. This is you making very wise decisions about your life and who to walk away from, who to let go. Yeah, you're letting go of toxic people toxic connections, toxic circumstances. Yeah. Ooh, you've been through a lot of heartbreak in your life. Yeah. The person that you let go of is deeply heartbroken over losing you. There's something you said to them that hurt their ego very deeply, but they needed to hear 
your words of wisdom, your words of truth. They needed to hear it. Yeah. This person was not aware that uh, what you said was so visible to you and others. You see, they, whatever it is that hurt them deeply was the truth that they needed to hear. They were aware of that truth, but they didn't think you were going to uh, see it and speak it truthfully. Yeah. Look how strong you are. This shows me you are healing from heartbreak. You see, this is you. You've been through a lot of betrayal in your life. Yeah. Uh, some from family members you trusted. Some for, from fake friends you trusted. You've been through a lot of betrayal. And this is you letting go of negative energy. Yeah, look at this. You see, problems with communication between you and your soulmate. Yeah, this is you picking yourself up, shaking yourself off being very resilient, strong. This is you closing those difficult karmic cycles in your life, recognizing important truths about certain relationships, connections. Let me see what's going on here. This is them. This person wants to come back to you because they're showing up in your reading. We're going to ask about them in about a minute directly. In other words, please show us um, what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? They deeply regret losing you. They think you're gone for, go for good, that you're not going to let them come back. They're scared that they lost you for good. This is them feeling enormous amount of regret, heartbreak. Yeah. Yeah, look how stressed out they are. This person is not able to release you. They caused you a lot of, um, uh, a lot of, uh, what's the word? Chaos in your life. Yeah, like a lot of drama. Yeah, look how powerful your energy is. This is you moving on with your life, walking away from toxic people, situations, circumstances. Yeah, yeah, this is you moving on with your life. Good for you. Yeah, you see, justice will prevail. You see, you have good karma, Pisces. Um, yeah, and if anybody betrayed you or deceived you or tried to smear your good name, the karma is... Uh, gonna take care of it. You see, justice will prevail. Uh, those justice scales will be balanced once again. Now, let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces and how is the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? I feel like I need to shuffle more. This one wants to show up as extra message. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces. And how is the summit of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? Ooh. This person's in love with you. They love you deeply. There's no doubt that this person's in love with you. King of Cups. Yeah. The, after they lost you, they realized how much you mean to them. Yeah, this is them recognizing important truths in their life. You are the catalyst in their life. Yeah, you are the catalyst in their life. Yeah, look how scared they are that they lost you for good. Very scared, petrified of feeling such deep emotions. They're not used to feeling such deep, real emotions for anyone like they feel for you. It scares them to be that emotionally vulnerable in a situation. They're not used to it and they don't like to express deep emotions they would rather hide it you see they don't want to wait anymore they, they don't want to just sit there waiting for things to happen on its own this person is dealing with some something karmic in their life that's preventing them from being with you and they want to free themselves of that situation whatever it is whether it's a toxic family situation or karmic connection, whatever it is, they try to, they are trying to free themselves uh, of that connection. Yeah. <sighs> My goodness. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces and how's the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time. A lot of you are dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, you see, this person wants to be brave enough, courageous enough 
to approach you because they love you. They're not able to let you go because they genuinely love you. See, look, they've compared you to other people. They never felt such deep connection with anyone like they feel with you. Virgo showing up here very strongly. Yeah, you see? So this person is not so much scared of commitment as they are scared of failing in a commitment. You see, there's something going on in their life that's preventing them from offering you a, a solid relationship. So they could be in a karmic connection with somebody else or still be in touch with their ex. Something is going on uh, that they prevented. Um, they're not learning something important to free themselves of this situation. They need to learn some kind of important lessons before they can free themselves of whatever that's holding them back. This person wants to put work into this. They don't want to lose you. No, they don't want to lose you. They're checking up on you heavily. This person is aware that what they feel for you is deep, genuine, real love, not some kind of crush that is going to fade away. This person realizes that those are deep feelings they feel for you. Look how sad they are. This is them sad. Trying to analyze the depth of their feelings for you. Past life connection between you two. They're not able to let you go. Oh, gosh. They're not able to release you. No. There's, there's something going on in their life that they need to deal with. They need to learn important lessons from before they can free themselves of that situation that they're dealing with. Yeah, you see? Unexpected communication. So this person is going to find a way to communicate with you, Pisces, unexpectedly. This is unexpected communication out of nowhere. Quick communication. Hmm. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, please show us what's... Yeah, I see. They're holding on to you for dear life, not letting you go, not releasing you. Oh. Problems with communication, silence. There's a lot that they want to communicate to you to get off the chest. Yeah. They feel a lot of guilt, regret for losing you. So this person feels guilt. Like they feel they lost you because of something they didn't do or did that they shouldn't have done. Whatever the reason is, they recognize clearly that they've made some serious mistake and they lost you. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces. This is how they view you. Beautiful. They've placed you on a pedestal. They view you as holding empress energy, somebody of high value, somebody with integrity. Yeah. So they respect you for standing your ground, for recognizing your worth. Yeah. They respect you greatly. Look how scared they are. They're so scared of being rejected by you. Your back is turned towards them. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful your energy is, Pisces. Yeah, this is you, knowing your worth, recognizing your worth. Yeah, knowing that you deserve a relationship that's healthy, that's reciprocal. This person has very hard time initiating communication, expressing emotions, admitting to their mistakes, at least publicly in front of others. Um, they showing up uh, as attractive, as successful, as respected by many at their job or business, but in their personal life, their interpersonal relationships are suffering. This person doesn't express emotions, doesn't communicate for some reason. They're coming towards you though. They want to meet you halfway. Your back is turned towards them. Yeah. Uh, they're coming towards you. They want to meet you halfway. Emperor and Empress energy, but they're so scared that this is it. Pisces, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about the soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business 
job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.